did you do? <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Now we have to rinse. I was not a survivor of cancer, although I have survived losing the death of my son, PJ. Okay. Well, that's what I always said to her, too, because well, one time she wasn't sure, and I said, no, that's why she's yeah. here. You talk to her. Yeah. You tell her exactly. how you feel, and exactly. you let her know, and then she'll we'll deal with it. She has been here every step of the way, along with my husband, Kevin, and his family and a lot of our friends as we found out that he had um, hepatoblastoma, which is a type of liver cancer. I sat with the family, we talked. We, I knew what it was like to have your child diagnosed with cancer. I think the way I equate it now, it's, it's almost as if somebody takes a mirror and they throw it up against a brick wall and your life gets splatted into a million pieces and you are sure that they're never going to get put back together. You know, it's going to depend on how her body accepts the new marrow. Right. So that's going to be. And each family that I met, it's a different circumstance. It's a different language I'll go in with because everybody comes from all walks of life. Every step of the way, every time we needed something, and she was always right there. She helped advocate for us whenever we had questions or problems or just didn't quite understand something. She has given us all the support we could ever imagine getting from somebody who was five weeks ago a stranger. My friends and family sometimes think I'm a little bit crazy to do what I do, doing it as long as I've been doing it, but I tell them every day these families are amazing and I actually meet the superstars of the world.